change. Will this year's hurricane season be busy or quiet? The new I'm here to the weather watch here. We are just one day away from getting to this extended holiday weekend. And it is so nice. You're going to like the forecast. Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank joining us with a first check of it. Now, I cannot remember the last time we had such a nice Memorial Day weekend forecast. Saturday, Sunday and Monday, the weather cooperating with all of your outdoor plans. Taking a look, it is turning cooler out there tonight. No frost advisory for us here in Connecticut. We are not expecting it to get cold enough, but just to give you an idea of how chilly it is, I wanted to show you that for some of our neighbors to the north, there are frost advisories in effect, even as close by as Massachusetts. Right now we're looking at temperatures that are in the low 50s for Wyndham, upper 50s in Meriden, and right around the 50 degree mark in Waterbury. As we head towards daybreak, we'll see temperatures dropping into the low to mid 40s. Some of our cooler spots might be able to dip back into the upper 30s as we head towards daybreak, but that would be the exception, not the rule. Otherwise, we are looking at bright sunshine just like we had out there today, but we're going to get rid of those winds, which were really feisty today. Tomorrow, the wind is not as strong. Low 70s in Wallingford, low 70s for a high temperature in Branford. We'll also be close to 70 degrees in Mystic and Stonington. Low 70s in Mansfield and middle 70s for the Hartford area. The temperature will slowly continue to ramp up as we head through the coming days. We'll show you your full weekend forecast coming up. All right, Rachel, thank you. And all eyes are on the holiday weekend. The weather cold. It is late May, meaning we are creeping closer and closer to the start of hurricane season, which begins in June 1st. And if you're thinking already, yeah, usually hurricane season doesn't start to pick up until we head towards the end of summer and into early September, especially that's when we get the most frequency of hurricanes and tropical storms. So today, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued their first stab at the forecast and they are forecasting an average hurricane season with 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine hurricanes and one to four major hurricanes, which are category three or higher. But they have very low confidence in this year forecast. They're saying there's only a 40% chance of an average season. And the reason why they have low confidence is because El Nino is developing and El Nino typically produces a lot of wind shear that can tear tropical storms apart. So usually El Nino is good news for everybody who lives on America's shorelines. But at the same time, we have this conflicting signal. Sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic are extremely warm and that acts as fuel for tropical storms. So the question is, what ends up winning out? Is it the wind shear or is it the warm ocean? So for that reason, they're going with that average season, but again, not with very much confidence. We take those forecasts with a grain of salt anyway, because you can have a very active season and not a single hurricane ends up making landfall. And you can have a very quiet season with only one storm. But if that one storm makes landfall, we consider it a really bad one. So it's too soon to know where storms are gonna develop and make landfall at this point. All right, the other story obviously is all eyes on the weekend and we are looking good. It looks like a wet weekend for parts of the southeast and the mid Atlantic states. But for us, we're going to be on the dry and sunny side of the street Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday for Memorial Day. Right now we're looking at temperatures that are in the 50s to right around 60 degrees. Low temperatures tonight falling back towards the 40 degree mark tomorrow. It's beautiful. High temperatures will be in the low 70s for most of the state, although mid 70s for the Hartford area and not as windy as it was outside today. And then we slowly start to dial up the warmth. We're looking at highs between 75 to 80 degrees during the day on Saturday and even warmer than that for Sunday. Notice each day gets progressively a couple of degrees warmer than the day before at the shoreline. We're looking at low 70s Saturday and Sunday and mid 70s heading into your Memorial Day. Here's a look at that seven day forecast and my goodness. Another check of the forecast and it's a really good one. Yeah, there are some times in the year where Rachel has a difficult job yes. with, you know, tornadoes and winter storms. 
This is not one of this those This is a good no. week to be you, Rach. No, I'm getting a lot of stuff done on my to-do list, you know, at work, <laughs> cleaning out graphics, changing the legends at the top of the satellite so it doesn't have snow on it anymore <laughs> because, yeah, we're not going to see any more clearly from here on out. We've got blue skies ahead. No more wildfire smoke in the sky. Maybe you were with us the last couple of weeks or you noticed that the sky has been hazy. It's been beautiful at sunrise and sunset but we've continued to see that haze in the sky at times. It's gone though. We had blue skies today and we will tomorrow as well. We have a warming trend on the way right through your Memorial Day weekend and even through your Memorial Day and no rain into next week. We're doing okay. We don't need it too badly just yet, but we will pretty soon if we keep this up. Temperatures right now are in the 50s across the state, upper 40s though for Torrington. We'll see overnight lows dipping back into the 40s tonight. There could be a few of our cooler spots that try to get into the upper 30s, but that would be the exception. Otherwise, tomorrow we're looking at bright sunshine, high temperatures in the low 70s for the New Haven area, mid 70s in hard right around the 70 degree mark in Waterbury and it only goes up from here. Another check on your Memorial Day weekend forecast coming up. All right, Rachel, thank you.